So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make birria step by step. Now this is the way I make birria. I know there's a lot of different ways, but this is my way, okay? So these are the ingredients. Nine pounds of yasmillo, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of sesame seed, one tablespoon of a clove, one tablespoon of thyme, one tablespoon of whole peppercorns, one tablespoon of oregano. This is called all allspice or um, pimienta dulce. You're also gonna need a tablespoon and about four bay leaves. You're also gonna need a small, I don't know, two inches of ginger, a whole garlic head, a whole onion, two tomatoes, half a cup of vinegar, a tablespoon or two of salt, and a tablespoon or two of chicken bouillon. For the chiles, I have 20 guajillos, four pasilla, and we're gonna use about eight puyas. When I make the birria, I like to put bone into the consomme because it gives it like a richer flavor. I have about four pounds of bone, but I'm going to boil these first because we're gonna remove the gunkiness, the blood from the bones. I don't know, it just doesn't taste, so it's just so the birria doesn't taste dirty. So I have a boiling pot of water on my stove and I'm just gonna let dump these in the boiling water so we have the water boiling and basically like i said we're just going to remove the gunk from the bones so the birria doesn't have a dirty taste okay that's the gunk that i'm talking about that we're going to remove from the bones all right so now that they're all cleaned up we're going to wash them making sure that they're nice and clean because we got we want no jungle in the trunk so while our bones are being cleaned we're going to clean up the chiles we got the 20 guajillos the four poblanos and we're going to use about eight pasillas those are a little spicy they're not that spicy um so we're going to use hmm, six to eight of those and basically all of, all you're going to do is just rip the little stem and then you just remove the seeds why because if you don't your salsa or the yeah the sauce that you make for it is gonna be bitter. She's gonna rinse these mother peppers. You know, the nastiness off of them, you see that's all um, mure. And then we're gonna boil them. We're gonna boil this for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna let them cool down before we put them in the blender. Now that our chiles have cooled down, we are going to blend five extra raw garlic cloves. So we're gonna add our tomatoes, our chiles carefully. Yeah, I know I said let them cool down, but we don't got time right now and just be careful all of your spices in here your vinegar you have to add vinegar don't forget that if you don't have vinegar you can also hack use the pickled jalapeno juice it's vinegar some of the juice And then we blend. Drain the sauce. All right, so this is the rest of the chile. And in here, I add I added the piece of ginger because I forgot to mention it last time or earlier when I blend the first time. Don't forget to add a piece of ginger. It's gonna give it a taste or a flavor that you're not even gonna know where it comes from. You're gonna have people thinking like, what does she put in it? In a good way though. And if sometimes you're having a very hard time um, straining this, you can help yourself with a little bit of water. Like I said, if you have a good blender, this part will be unnecessary. Now we're gonna begin to cut the carne. And I don't remove this fat because whenever you guys want to make uh, quesadilla tacos, I like um, to skim the fat, and that's what we're going to use to fry it. So, we're not going to remove the fat. 
But basically we're gonna cut pieces about this big. This is the Chuck Rose and all of our bones de -gunked. We're going to put everything in the pot. The whole garlic clove, doesn't matter if it has the cascara, you're still gonna put it in there. Nothing's going to happen. Now what happened to my onion? It's behind your husband. Can you give it to me? We're gonna add your bay leaves you in want here. This one or both. They're cut. Your onions, your chicken bouillon, salt to taste. I'm not gonna put a lot of salt because if it's too salt, if it needs more salt, I can add more salt, but I cannot take it out. And your sauce. I personally do not like the birra to be super um, watery. I like it to be a little on the thicker side, so I'm gonna leave it as is. Watch, come, 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 come. And as long as the meat is covered with the chile, it's fine with me, because remember, the meat is going to release its own juices, and I don't want the broth super watery or watered down or anything like that. This is how I like it. We're just gonna take it to the stove now and it's going to cook for about four hours, probably longer. So after four hours, the birria should be ready. And now we're just gonna go around and we're gonna skim all the fat so we can use this to make our quesadilla tacos. And then the meat should be super tender. This is the reason why I skim the fat because when we make quesadilla tacos, I like to dip them in the fat. And then this is how we're gonna get our tortillas. No, see. Add your cheese. Add your carnita. Close them up, up, homie. Now these, this, this is my diet food, guys. Always hook up your consomme with, I like to put cebolla and cilantro and a little bit of lime juice. There was no limes, so we're gonna use lemon and some chili oil. I'm being crazy at this, they're so freaking hot. But anything for a good cheese pull, right? There you have it, guys. Hope you like this recipe. Bye.